Hi, welcome to this exciting episode of Sathology, Debunking Mythology. So today I'm at the Chief Angel Sanchez Reyes, who is a great grandson of Geronimo. And it's as in my book I mentioned about the history of the US, and I'm at his home, a beautiful place. Uh, and the most important thing is the culture is still alive, people are still there, and it's always good to meet people and do the sathology work. Uh, so three things I captured in that entire conversation which you'll see is that, uh, that the culture is alive, the, the people are still here and the existing issues with the US government honoring its commitments is still there. And so you have to see that the, the, the United States, in the United States also there are same problem, there is no water and there is no access to, to power and the roads are not there, all those things are there. Uh, and from our sathology perspective, what we are trying to do is bringing out the truth and in a documented way where, where you see the actual things on the ground. So on my back you see the, the chief's home and on this side is some things which he has, has captured. Now, most of these things, most of the original artifacts were lost because the native communities and culture, and they did not have the, uh, I mean, not maintain, I mean, they maintained the oral traditions, but the, the structures, the large structures were there before them. Like, for example, the, the pyramids of Chahokia and the places in Arizona are prehistorical, minimum 10,000 years old, and those places are still there. And we'll slowly start traveling there. Like in after the literature festival we have, I'm going to go to some place in Arizona with Dr. Shalindra, who is also will be here, and also with some of the people like my people who will be traveling with me, including Nilesh Oak. I'm going to take him out there. So keep watching and do like, share, and subscribe. And I want to see some feedback from you so that we improve our videos. Thank you. To the uh to the to the document. See, we, yeah, when I got in, uh, how many? Of, how many? Of, how much of that do you have? How many pages and, uh, should I say? About thirty pages. You want a copy of that? Yes. Okay. Can we give him a copy of that, brother? Do you have it, sir? I have no one. Oh, nice. So for the viewers, no, he's going to give you his copy because he's got more. I'm giving you the beautiful home of the deck. Oh, man, Andrew, thank you, brother. Oh, amazing. I know thank he's too so much. much. He has a oh, big heart. Oh, thank you. He has a huge heart. They're all in order. Thank you, brother. Let me get a clip thank for you. him. Thank you. Thank you. I got this document from them. It's like a gold the, uh, mine. The U.S. was the last one to sign into this, and um, but no one has held them to this document yet. Um, it gives us the indigenous people of the world. Um, let's see how they when uh, when we start. If we're needed to go let's see how this works out. This could be like we'll, uh, But, uh, yeah, this was, um, it has not been, uh, has not been retracted by the U.S. government yet. We hope it, we hope that they still, they will still maintain this. This was sketch for me and a gift to me by my cousin, Yashi Tiger D, uh, and he he was born on the San Carlos Reservation, and we have the sage up there. Yashi just passed away about six months ago, and he was a uh, uh, figure in his in his uh, important figure in the in the uh, San Carlos tribe. Now we have the bow over there that also my cousin gave me Yashi, and that's an original Apache lance with an original uh, eagle feather that he gave me, or I earned, so it was what he said. 
And then the, the bowl head is all turquoise with the dream catcher hanging from it. And then we have the basket where it holds our, our medicine, which is our sage and sweet grass. And those are all walking sticks, and I use some of those for ceremony. And then we have uh, our drum, we use for ceremony. Our flute that I play, our baskets and our rattle over there that was made. Also we put rice or whatever you want to put in it, you can make that rattle sound. And here we have um, uh, our, our ceremonial red tail hawk feather. Yeah, you, you did that last time, bless, bless us with that. And then this is an original, that's from an owl, it's called a, a, a talent. And this is how much power the, the one wing has. And we use this for when we pray, when we light our sage, we push the smoke up into the air because it carries our prayers to the heavens and to our Creator. And I made this one for my wife, that's hers. It's a lady's, it's a lady's little, but also I made that for her. So it's also a weapon because if somebody tries to hurt her, she just pulls this out. It's a night poker. Gotta take care of the wife. <laughs> and this is a traditional dress, the headdress, which you wear sometimes. Yes, the that's, uh, that's what I use in my headdress, the feathers. And those are my moccasins. This is my, my medicine bag. And all my stuff that I use for ceremony is in here. So I got my my shell, sweet grass, sage, and this I use so when I have to sage. So can I can I this shell, shell blows blows? Yeah, that's that, that right there. That there right now. This one. This one. Uh huh. See that shell is called an abalone shell. Mm. And what we do is we light the abalone. And this also used, so when I go cutting, uh, when I cut the sage, this is also, uh, this bag is over 100 years old. And so it's got a little knife, so when you cut the sage, you just cut the sage and put it in the bag. It's a very old piece. And then you have, um, we have the the bow and arrow. Yeah. This is a this is a fox. As you can see, it's already old. This is old. This is over 150 years old. It's an old piece. The these are the original uh, arrows, and they still have the flint. Wow. I I do recall. So, but my favorite is long <laughs> Yeah, it's a good ball. Long yeah. are good. Uh, you use it sometimes? Uh, I use a yeah, the long bow. This no, but I do use a long bow. It's got a good tension on it. And this is an old, this is an old, uh, uh, an old uh, hawk talent. And then you have um, pipes. And these piece, pipes are very old, as you could tell. And these are all, uh, 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 this is, um, these are weapons. These are all the three weapons, which are also flint. These are child bows. And those are, oh, uh, can't even tell you how old those things are. <laughs> and spinning, that's an old axe. Spinning yard for the cotton or something. This one, this spinning thing. That's a that's a spin uh, that's a spinner. Oh. It's to spin out uh, uh, yarn. Yarn, yes. Yeah, like that. This my cousin gave me. He made it, Yashi, and I added the the pipe to it. And that's me when I was a young man in the military. And these are the Kachina dolls. Uh, these are the crown dancers. 
And these are, this is the whole collection of our crown dancers, which is a very spiritual uh, uh, dance that they, that they do. And so you got some more uh, pipes there, a little axe. That's an old blanket. That blanket was hand woven by the Navajos. And that blanket is there about maybe, I want to say about 125 years old. And this is uh, a letter from our attorney. And it says right who, who I am, that I'm the great grandson of Geronimo. We're trying to do some work with the federal government as far as doing a, um, a casino. But then the place that we have there was a local tribe that said no because it was actually their tribe here in California in Barstow. We're actually from the Midwest, the Apaches. So uh, out of respect to them, we stopped the, uh, stopped the development. Bison or Bison. in our language is called Tanka. What is it Tanka. 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 And then you can see the tail over here. That was my wife. <laughs> that's from the shoulder. Of the, see the little tail in the middle? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's the tail. And that's the shoulders and the sides of the buffalo. Yeah. Are they still there around or no? I'm sorry? Are they still around, bison? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, especially in Canada, because Canada is the one that saved the, the buffalo from extinction. Because uh, millions of yeah, because uh, the, the the settlers of this of the United States were killing the buffalo just for the hide and leaving the meat there. I mean, they wouldn't even touch the meat; they wanted the hide. Yeah, so the hide and the tongue. Is all they yeah, did. that's in the horns, the head. Why they took the tongue? Uh, it was very flavorful. It's it's good eating. Yeah, very. To this day, they still eat it. You know, I wonder what they do with the buffalo over at uh, 